beating it's a deal for Zoll here market analysts at CFDs.com bringing you a review of the US markets making new highs once again uh, please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers w.tradesignal.com certainly download the app at Google Play and the Apple App Store okay so how do we react what do we do uh, these US markets uh, certainly uh, Mr. Trump's comments certainly seem to be uh, igniting this uh, potential bull uh, a bull market and it continues to make new highs even when you think that you finally have a potential top mr trump's comments certainly send this market to new highs so stock market doesn't even care about uh, mr trump's war and his racist rhetoric and his misogynist comments and his xenophobia and so on and so forth okay um his incompetence and uh, because markets all they care about is a kool-aid okay uh, qe is finished now here comes the fiscal stimulus so uh, rollback of regulation, uh, Dodd-Frank certainly being unwound, the banks are certainly uh, having a party like it's the, uh, prior to the uh, 2008 credit crisis, okay, uh, so we certainly seem to have learned nothing at all, okay, and it's just a matter of time, okay, that this potential uh, new uh, financial arm again is on, is on the horizon, if you are going to do, obviously enforce which uh, deregulation, then uh, it certainly opens up uh, greed, uh, avarice, gluttony etc and these are all uh, dis uh, obviously diseases of the heart uh, and one of seven deadly sins as well that generally indicate a potential uh, chaotic period going forward so lack of regulation lack of oversight okay call it the big brother state certainly needs to be in place in order to prevent a potential credit crunch part de again and that certainly isn't uh, the case at present so equity markets certainly rallying on that okay uh, they think that's going to uh, increase growth and so on and so forth yet to be seen i mean mr obama did well in terms of his unemployment rate being uh, relatively, not relatively exceptionally low even the jobless claims today as well certainly on the lower side so again it'll be interesting going forward as to uh, how the markets react and uh, take it in their stride but for now uh, as traders all we need to know is what the tape is saying and the tape is telling you it's going higher so we just have to uh, go with it and not try to fight it okay now Let's see exactly where we are. Let's start with the, uh, let's just look at it from a technical picture because fundamentals right now, even though they are arguing bearish, given the fact that uh, you are overextended, the Nikkei was down overnight. We had German exports that were weak. Okay, we've got political chaos in um, in, in, in Europe with Grexit and Frexit. Okay, and um, the market certainly seems to be running in the back of a potential letter that Trump sent to China saying that uh, apparently alleviating uh, trade protectionism fears. Okay. And obviously his comments with regards to uh, tax cuts and deregulation. So the market certainly is uh, buying it, okay, and, and going with it. So let's have a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is one of the key sectors, okay. NASDAQ certainly uh, uh, being helped. Even though Twitter shares were down 10%, uh, NASDAQ is unfazed, okay. Not concerned about valuations here at all. Daily, weekly, just literally a bull run, okay. He wants to continue to go higher. I mean, look at that breakout past the 4816. I mean, Y2K all over again, okay y2k all over again that's probably the best way of explaining it so you can see here very very impressive off to new highs etc okay daily chart but when does it stop where does it stop that's the question okay 60 minute chart at the moment is hitting r2 resistance okay you do have obviously multiple gaps on filled below so again they need to close but for now you have a double top at the 5220 okay so watch out for that double top to hold if that fails to hold then the market certainly will go into reverse okay interesting okay so uh, in terms of the nasdaq let's just cross reference that as always with the uh, the biotechs okay so the biotechs at the moment my understanding of the biotechs is that we were into resistance but the market certainly wants to do otherwise okay if it does pop higher and break high above here you are looking at resistance just above okay so again biotech sector certainly coming into potential resistance let's look at the uh, the semiconductors folks whilst we're here the semicons, 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 where are those semicons? Okay, here comes semiconductors, semiconductors at the moment, certainly looking weak on a daily chart basis, looking weak, okay, so certainly looking top heavy here, indicating a potential move lower. Weekly chart, putting in a doji as well. 60 minute chart, certainly looking top heavy, looking to break this uh, key a rising wedge type pattern, okay, so that'll be interesting going forward. Just keep an eye on the, uh, the actual uh, uh, semiconductors okay so certainly early signs of weakness here especially with regards to twitter as well okay so potential 10 minute chart potential h and s formation so certainly looking for weakness on the nasdaq 
uh, going forward okay now whilst we're here let's look at the actual vix as well i was expecting the vix to have made the base uh give made a base here and start to move higher but we continue to move to new lows and that certainly seems to be a recurring theme on the vix at the moment okay so daily chart is constantly constantly grinding low okay market is totally oblivious to risk or any form of risk altogether okay so the semiconductors certainly give a flashing a warning sign biotech certainly flashing a warning sign and uh, again the nasdaq certainly is sky's your limit okay pick your limit in terms of the nasdaq okay let's look at the dow itself the dow jones dow jones certainly breaking to new highs as well in dow jones industrial average certainly breaking i was expecting that gap fill to hold and double top to hold and start to move lower that isn't the case dow certainly pushing higher regardless let's bring up the uh, dow transports let's see exactly if uh, if they actually confirm the move dow transports are not confirming the move so again that's not exactly a bullish sign so generally considered a bearish sign you are into gap fill resistance here there is one more gap to fill above though just bear that in mind but from my understanding that's not a bullish or a healthy sign okay when the Dow Jones is moving higher, you want the Dow Transports moving higher, if not high, if not stronger, or if not potentially to a new to, to new territory, a new zone at least. So certainly uh, some something circumspect going on here. Certainly not being confirmed by Transons Transports. Okay, let's move on to the S and P. Let's see if that's confirmed by the uh, the Russell. So let's bring up the chart, the S&P 500 first. Let's look at the daily chart or weekly chart, should I say. Weekly chart certainly continues its thrust higher, unabated, okay. Daily chart has broken out of that uh, key zone as well. Okay, so any retest now of that breakout zone at 2300 equal, automatically equals key support. So watch that to certainly hold. Now let's move on to the 60-minute chart, the S&P. Again, you've broken out. So support is seen at 2300 and... Uh, uh, 2298 and then obviously you have a gap fill at 2294 so just watch out for 2294 that's going to be a key area or a key zone okay uh, and then obviously if you continue to flush low you're looking at 2290 okay that's your zone on the s p now let's go see if we can cross reference that with the russell what does the russell actually say now the russell at the moment certainly isn't confirming a break, break higher if anything the russell's holding its resistance level so Certainly is a warning sign, that's all I can say. 60 minute chart again into resistance, indicating a potential top in the uh, in the S&P. Certainly would argue for a move lower. So uh, my analysis and my conclusion really is that the US markets are into resistance and uh, the S&P certainly uh, one that uh, needs to be observed and definitely looking to move lower, okay? That's basically where we stand with regards to that. So uh, Russell certainly not confirming, nor is the Dow Transports the potential move higher. So where does that leave us good question okay now another variable that we must observe is the dow or should we say the us uh, usd jpy given the uh, strong positive correlation it has now you can see the usd jpy moving higher on the back of these tax cuts reflation trade dollar certainly obviously is screaming higher but the dow the usd jpy is now into resistance so again any potential move is certainly capped here you can see that double bottom certainly has held at 111 and now we start to move higher okay Okay, so let's bring up the actual uh, Nikkei as well. Let's see exactly where the Nikkei is trading. Currently trading at 19,166. Okay, so 19,166. You do have a gap fill at 19,356 in there. Okay, so you also have resistance at 19,194, 95 as well. So looking for a potential uh, support here and resistance in that region. So support is currently around the 18,700 and then your sort of resistance is currently around the 19,200. So interesting to see exactly which way the, NAS the Nikkei moves here, especially with regards to dollar itself. Okay, right. Uh, in terms of the Shanghai, Shanghai actually finished positive overnight. Okay, the Shanghai, any potential pop is limited to here. So we are now coming into resistance, looking for a move lower. So let's bear that in mind. Okay. Uh, any other variable that I haven't covered at the moment? I think not. I mean, I can go into individual sectors, but then it'll be a long-winded, uh, certainly will be a long-winded affair. Okay, well, you can see here the Nasdaq certainly pushing higher. Okay, and uh, certainly looks overextended for to me from here. Okay, certainly needs to come back and pull back into that gap fill region. Okay, so I think that's a good wrap for me in terms of the uh, coverage. Uh, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. And also visit Trade Signal for signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye.